Hi, and welcome back to the beginner's A to Z of radio control planes. In this video, we cover D is for dihedral. So first things first, what is dihedral? So dihedral is the upward angle of an aircraft's wings. Here's an example of an aircraft with dihedral. And as you can see, the wings are tilted slightly up from the central plane of the fuselage. Its opposite is anhedral, in where the wings are tilted slightly downwards from the central plane of the fuselage. So we won't go into anhedral, we'll just talk about dihedral at the moment. So to help explain why we need dihedral, I have made two very sophisticated models. The one on the left here has got a straight wing and the one on the right has a small amount of dihedral built into the wings. So what happens? When you bank an aeroplane, that means rotating it like this, the aeroplane starts slipping in the same direction of the turn. So it starts slipping like that. If you have an aircraft like this one without dihedral, there's no force that will bring the airplane back to wings level flight without you interfering. And you may find yourself fighting the sticks just to stay trim and level. This slip caused by banking produces a wind that is now acting on the side of the plane. Without dihedral, this wind has little effect and the plane and the airplane continue to slip. But with dihedral, under the same scenario, the wings are tilted slightly up. So a portion of this relative wind now strikes the underside of the lower wing, pushing it back up towards wing level and therefore maintaining stability. For most aircraft, only a few degrees of dihedral is enough to keep the wings level during small disturbances such as turbulence. So for an RC aircraft with dihedral, it delivers more stability, which for the novice is a real bonus. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next in the series. Cheerio!